just getting everything ready for uh, us going away later to up to Ashbourne. Uh, we've booked into a campsite up there. So just done a car boot this morning. Just uh, had to wash all the money, etc. In the sink with disinfectant and everything like that. Um, so yeah, done a car boot this morning. That was good. Met up with the... Uh, one of uh, Lydia's friends, Emily's mum and dad and everything and hello to you on the um, YouTube channel. So yeah, so just emptying the water out and everything now and just uh, getting everything sort of like done. Just cleaned all the bus out and uh, cleaned the toilet, emptied the toilet and all the usual stuff. That you have to sort of like get done. So I'm looking forward to going. I'm going to play a game, a game of cards later, like sort of like on the little table and yeah, just all those little bits and bobs. That will be really good. Or well, found out what the smell was that was coming from the bus. Believe it or not, it was actually the wastewater. Um, I've only used it literally once. And you'd, you'd be surprised, you know, how quickly water goes off, you know, obviously with it being in the warm bus and everything. So um, that's a lesson learnt. So just be wary of that. Even if there's just still a bit in there. But what I've actually started doing is, I don't know if you can see, because there's no waste water in this at the minute. That is just green chemical um, stuff, what I put actually in the bottom part of the toilet and it smells of like marzipan so it's really nice sort of like strong smelling smell and I've hung these little air fresheners up in there so I'm never gonna have that smell ever again yes I've washed all the change yes so that's all done yeah just been explaining that we've just done a car boot this morning just been explaining about the um, wastewater the smell of it etc in here uh, but obviously now I know where it's all coming from, you know, if, and uh, just to keep a check on things. So that's that. So we're just going to put all fresh water in here. Can you just, um, oh no, that one's okay there, Lydia. And then that one I need to take out and put, even though this is obviously clean water still in there and I've not used it, I'm still going to change it and sort of like put fresh one in. We never use it as drinking water, it's only obviously just to wash the pots, etc. like that. But I'm a bit sort of like funny about stuff like that. It has to be just so. So, um, so yeah, there we go. On to the next bit. So, I'm just about to go into the shower um, because uh, I need to have a freshen up, etc. before we go. So, I can't wait. Can you wait? Yeah, yeah okay. Look where I put my beer thingy now, I've hung it up there. I like that place, it's just ideal right next to the kitchen. Okay, so I've just been told that my top says goodbye my love. So I just said to Scott, goodbye my love, because obviously we're off now. <laughs> but uh, no, he's coming with us. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get in the bus now and drive. I'm just driving now towards Ashbourne. Um, just going through Sudbury at the minute. There's so many caravans and motorhomes now on the road. Earlier today, on the way back from the car boot, I saw this uh, pink beetle car um, pulling one of those little teardrop caravans that was painted in pink as well. It looked ever so good. So like the amount of different types of ones that you see travelling around. Because obviously today, July the 4th, is the, the day when people are allowed officially, you know, to um, go and uh, camp out as such, aren't they really? Apart from obviously the people that live in their vans and caravans and motorhomes full time, um, which I'm really jealous of, I'd love to do that. Can't at the minute though, because obviously I've got the girls at school, etc. So, um, yeah, but it's just started shucking it down with rain now to stop off at a shop just to be able to get some food in to put in to the fridge and Scott's on about going for a walk around Dovedale or something but he's bringing his car so that we can park the bus up and then uh, we can just shoot off in the car just to Dovedale so I'll, um, I'll, I'll be able to have a little 
chill out drink then while he's driving. So uh, Scott doesn't um, really ever have a drink. But uh, yeah, lovely scenery around here anyway. So we've just been to Aldi or Liddell, whichever one it is. Which one was it, Scott? Aldi or Liddell? Aldi. Aldi and picked up these bad boy sausages for Scotty and um, he's cooking my favourite chicken, not chicken fajitas, some vegetarian corn fajita things there we go and also, just to let you know this as well just cracked open a bottle of this Asti stuff and you know the actual metal cap thing that goes on the top obviously, usually, when you twist that off the cork doesn't usually go but on this attempt, luckily, I just went to open the side door. I took off the metal cap and then went to open the side door. And then, luckily, I had it like that, away from my face. And it just all of a sudden blew out. It could have took my eye out. So, um, yeah, just be wary about those fizzy ones. It's really bad. But, yeah, there we go. Just to the, the uh, campsite now. A bit rainy, but there's loads of people all here. There's a few vans down there. The um, what's those ones that you like? Those big silver Air ones, Airstream ones, and another van that's uh, done similar thing, thing to what we've done, the van conversion. So uh, yeah, gonna have this and game of cards. Look at that Oh, it's just hot. There we go, so that's the view. Some camper vans there. This is the quiet field with no electric hookup. So that's the uh, Airstream that we was on about. <laughs> Ours is just up there. There's our bus there. We've got electric hook up there. So we've had a really nice um, Saturday night and part of this morning also very very windy though where we were at Dovedale it was quite high up um, but yeah I'd recommend the campsite that we went to and uh, it was all okay so see you soon <laughs>